4321. This is the formation of many pros this FIFA, and I'm going to show you a breakdown of one of the most popular ways of using it. This is probably the most used way and the most effective way of using this formation. This formation is going to show you a shape of how you attack and how to defend. And I will do a full breakdown with the end of the video. I'll also show you some clips again of me using this formation and showing you how to get the most out of it and how it works in game. So let's get straight onto the video. So then yeah, let's get started. Defensive style, again, it is balanced. This is the best way this FIFA, I know a lot of people will try to say pressure on heavy touch and all that. No, not for me. Width, I say 55. It can vary between 50 and going up to 60. 55 tends to be the sweet spot for me. That's what I'm going to stick with. But I would suggest trying both out and seeing how you feel. Depth, again, people vary this. People go as high as 75 if you really want to push it. If you are chasing the game, I would suggest you do go up to that. But 62 is that little spot for me that I enjoy. Build up, balance, and direct passing. In this FIFA, direct passing is the one. It is the one in all formations I suggest to use. I don't really vary from that. Width, I do use 55. Again, People, again, will go as high as 70. And they'll really try to spread it. I like to have everyone nice and close. Triangle passes. 55, 60 is the spot for me. 60 is when I'm kind of feeling a bit more confident with the players I've got up front. And players in the box. These kind of things are your own preference. I go 6. I've got plenty of people around the box, which I'll show you clips of later. Getting on to the settings here as well. And instructions, what I'll do. Showing the two on the right. So, the one up front down the middle and the one on the right. They both kind of, you can have them in getting behind. I have them set just to default. I have them as they are. Leave them like that. That way around for me. I know exactly what I'm going to get for them. You can have target man. You can have getting behind. You could try them out on different things. I, th I find they do absolutely perfect because what we're going to do is we're going to defend it in a 4-4-2. So, again, left side can be getting behind. The main thing, and this is the key one here, the main thing about this guy, he needs to have comeback on defence because he is going to join the midfield to defend as a flat 4-4-2 and I'll show you exactly how we're going to do that and exactly how we're going to make that happen. The one next to him, he will be just as it is, balanced, but he will cover centre because he is going to become one and he's going to become the left side of the centre mids. And this one in the middle here, stay back whilst attacking because when going forward, he will be your solo DM. He will be that main one there as well, but cover center. He is going to operate that central area at all times, so on attack and defense. And the one on the right, he needs to be covering wing. I have him on stay back whilst attacking. You will find he needs to be very good on the ball because you're going to find he's playing a lot, a lot kind of out wide and in them areas as well. He will naturally join the attack because he's coming from out wide. But when he covers wing, that will make that flat 4-4-2, and that's how you do it. All the defense, I have them on stay back whilst attacking. Because you have that guy on the right who is kind of drifting a little bit and there's less cover there, you can have him on overlap. For me, I just have him as standard as he is. That's what works for me. But I play around with that a little bit and see how you feel. See if you're confident. You've got to be very confident going forward. But generally, all of them stay by whilst attacking. Keeper, come for crosses and sweeper keeper. I like to use that on all keepers as well. But sometimes there's a little bit of carnage. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you some clips of how it works. Showing you in-game how the shape goes and you can see what you think. First little clip here showing that 4-3-2-1 and showing, look, the three in the middle. You've got the three options. You've got triangle passes on. There's all sorts on there as well. That's why I like all my three options in the box. And this one here, look how they come up in a 4-4-2. Every time you don't have the ball, that is the shape they will be in. So that is what you need to look out for. This one here, you can see clearly that right centre mid is wide, but you have that three there. He tucks in. Now you've got your three up front, triangle passes, different areas. These chances come constantly. So quick, fast-paced passing. That's what I always suggest. And again, shows it here. Do lose the ball a little bit, but as soon as you win it back, the areas you've got, if you can find them quick little passes, you'll get so many opportunities in this formation just to get goal after goal after goal. So just keep going with it. Find the shape. And that's why I suggest staying slightly narrow so you've got quick options and then again you see it settles into that 442 shape and off you go in this option straight away you can see that 442 shape you can see it in the and then you can see the left side break and this is going to create so many opportunities for him to get in behind he's going to be making unmarked runs because no one's going to know who to mark him get someone who's good on the ball he would dance through easy as that goal 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 always and again, another quick one here. Look, as soon as you win the ball, 4-4-2, and watch that left side break. 
when you start finding the strikers, he will go instantly there. And then you've got options, you've got overlaps. These are natural things. Remember, they are unstable but whilst attacking. You're going to get these chances as an well. awful pass. Don't talk about it. This one's in transition after I've won the ball back. You can see it wasn't that 4 4 2. As I said, that left side breaks does get a little bit messy. I won't lie to you. I do have a little bit of a moment in this game, but you can see the scoreline. It really wasn't that challenging. I'm not going to lie, but there we go. So, as you can see, Winning the ball back, they do get narrow. You get so many options to get back into the ball. You keep winning that ball back. That shape will stay so compact, you've got passes to get out of there very quickly and start finding some options. As I said before, triangle passes. That is your key here, staying calm, finding them passes, little back and forth. Someone always tries to make fancy. I did think that was offside, not going to lie. But when you're running through Eusebio, it's same old, same old. I don't know what he was doing with the keeper. I don't know who he thinks I am, but here we go. Here's a clip I really enjoy. You can see when he's on the ball, he gets swarmed. He is struggling to find options out of there. So he gets swarmed. And then as soon as we're on the ball, we're finding them central passes because that's where a lot of your players are. Central passes, quick cut through passes. Take your time. You score goals. Simple as that. Here as we win the ball back here, straight into that 4-4-2. And you can see that left side, he starts to go. This is what I will keep talking about. That is the key to this, that left-hand side. You can do it right-hand side if you do prefer if that's where your player is. That's the best on the ball kind of game between attack and defense. If he's the best one there for you, then do it that way. I do use the left side. He's the best for me in that. So I use him and he will create so many chances for you. Because as you see, he is always unmarked. He is always in these little areas to be unmarked. Easy goals. This is what happens in this formation. It is one of the best for being just generally fluent between defense and attack. This is why so many pros will use it. They won't teach you a lot of these little things that you need to know. And that is why they're doing it. Let's not talk about that goal. This is it again. Watch Politano settle into that 4-4-2. He starts dropping back. As I win the ball, I can find him. But that's the key to this. Him dropping back. And I'll keep going on and on and on about this. People will ignore that part of the formation. But this is the key. That is the difference between you maybe getting rank four and rank three. He will give you every outlet there as well. And as I said, you can flip it the other side. You can have him on the right-hand side if that's where your most creative player is. Generally, the one that's probably your quickest or best on the counter. You may use a lengthy man there. You may not, but I always suggest doing it this way around. Here's one to watch as well. When you can see that shape. So my central one, he is sat there as a DM and he will be in that position because as soon as I win the ball back, I want to fire it straight into him. So do make sure he's not just completely defensive. You do want someone that is capable of passing the ball. That is going to be very key for you as well. And your guy who's on the left-hand side, he probably will need to have relatively high stamina. So don't forget about that one. That one is easily forgotten about. So make sure you have that for me. And here's another transition here as well. Again, I'm on my left-hand side. I will stop going on about him. But use your space, use your areas. This formation will space out so well for you. You will get so many different runners. Uh, that's why, again, showing here, that's why I like to have as a narrow three. And now I'm going to leave you on a little counter-attack. One more defense to attack, and that is it. So I have been KD. Make sure you leave a comment, you like, and you subscribe for me. There is plenty more tips, comments, and tactics coming soon to help you get to the next level. Thank you very much.